Oh, I'm very thankful for that. But you know, I'm always appreciating any help. And it's like the... I'm really low efforts, you know? I'm not putting a lot of effort into my streams. Because I have a 40 hour job and not too much time. And I'm and I suck at uh, too technical stuff. Let's say if it gets too technical. Okay, but if reincarnation goes first, or but the fucking else. draft started. I really like. I think he's gonna pick Tidebringer first because they have weak models, low armor, and Tidebringer gonna fuck them. He's gonna take okay. Tidebringer then. Rave King gonna pick Atrophy or Reing second. That's what I think. Wait, did they pause? No, okay, maybe. It sounded like pause. But. Doesn't make any sense. You can pause during the draft. If yeah, you can. Command. Most people don't know that, by the way. No. Yeah, I also didn't know it. So, I didn't know that. Uh, so what else is strong? One of those commands available in the private lobby. What's really strong on, on Dia would be okay, he's getting Reink first. Reincarnate first. So I would I would get Tidebringer on if I would be Rave King. Oh, he's going Atrophy, but Tusk. Then they have two openings for Tidebringer, which is Mortal Strike and Walrus Punch. To completely fuck over. I'm confused. Nobody wants your Tidebringer. Man, Tidebringer is so strong. Especially I against know. four melee and against four four squishy models. I was gonna say Whirling Death is the play here. I'm seeing. Like, look at all the strength on this board. As Radiant, you want it because you don't want to fight it. As Dire, you desperate to have it. I'm great to see Timber Sun. Yeah, but now they have to come to pick Mortal Strike and Walrus Punch on Dire. And it's too late, I know. And this is what I was sort of worried about as, as well, right? It's who's going to counter pick both of these right now? Is it going to be Nyx literally last picking both of them? I mean, they can pick Walrus and Mortal on AA, or they just don't see it. Okay. Right, so there's see. the Mortal. I, I would hope they see it. This is a pretty odd. It's gone. I would have yeah. picked just Tidebringer yeah. earlier, man. It's so strong. Makes you farm, makes you harass, and firestorm. Okay, and please pick. You think Dusk. Please pick Walrus Punch on AA, please. Oh, you fuck the up. game. Or oh, the game is over. Well, okay. Here we go. Thank there you. Go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we got a now, game. If I we remember got a right, game. if I remember right, the real lich play there is tag team, where you pick that up for the bonus damage that most people forget about. For, for who? Oh, with with Tidebringer? Yes, I do believe that. Works out right now. Uh, it's a hundred. Is it even that great? Well, it's just one of those sleeper ones. Everyone yeah. forgets that it gives bonus damage. So we're calling out the obvious ones: Mortal Strike, the big crits, these kind of things. But you know, I mean, I, I have I have my good. eyes on on Luna. If she can gets a build that. Uh, can snowball like farm wise and carry wise? Yep, already looking very scary. Uh, Kunka going for a, a scepter build, it seems like. Is there something else? Scepter ish? No. But you can get like ice shards, get a shard and scepter. Okay, or okay, it's that. Is, uh, does Tusk have to pick Magnetize as an alt? No, he doesn't have to. Like, rolling, like rolling boulder. boulder shit. No, like, Without you magnetized. get more distance and more uh, everything based on the number of stones, etc, yeah. etc, et but no, again, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna I, pick I it. Come back to, you know, roll away or roll in and taunt someone. You're gonna have that little bit of movement where, you know, when you look at what else is on the board to do that, the only other option was Timber Chain, which is a lot harder to play around with. I think people are underrating the rolling ball or magnetized combo. It's really strong if you know I, how to I, play it, play it. But most people just don't everyone. know how to play it. Most people don't know how to play it, and that's why it has such a low win rate. Not, not most people, everyone. 
Nobody understands how to play from the reverse. <laughs> Yeah. Even professional. I, I agree. I, I agree. I, I don't understand either. I kind of. <laughs> no one it. understands how to play this hero. When I got magnetized, or when I got rolling boulder without magnetized, I felt Chat, I've seen your slow. questions. That Last time, game. The time it takes uh, to roll. Or get into a ball and then roll. Straha won last game, and I'll show you the bracket after, that's after where this game. Getting out is a problem in that case, but I think he's going to use it to get in. In which case, then that that delay, you know, probably yeah, won't matter delay. quite so much. The, the distance seven fifty like sucks. Yep. Literally half. But we'll see here again. Yeah. We still have we'll the see. option we'll to see. pick it all up. I'm looking at this Luna and thinking, oh god, guys, what are they going to have to deal with this? Early game, that Luna shows up, you're dead. Late game, she's going to take down a lane so quickly. Oh, Harvard stole the Magnetize. Didn't let him get the fast rolling boulder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's good. It's so he calls no. another, another roll-in hit. I love it. I mean, it's not bad. Culling Blade is good for the, like, first... 25 to 30 minutes, but then it falls off when the once the heroes get a bit tankier. Because the, the kill threshold is just meh. It's been so all going mid here for they change the kill threshold. I would send the X mid to, if I would. Be, yeah, I would yeah, as well. With the splash. And I mean, they don't have a clear. They don't have a clear uh, mid hero here. I would say. That's... It's uh, like Wizage 4, X2, but who's their one? Is it Kunkka 1? Kunkka 1 and he's going Radiance maybe? Radiance into Scepter? I don't know. Harder to call. Okay, time to turn off the music. So we can cast in peace. The big casting overlay. And we go to the last hits. I'm really curious how uh, Raiden is gonna lay this. Yeah, but if I look at the heroes, it's it's Kunkka mid and X safe lane. Because I know who's Dying playing which lane. Yeah. Just for warding, I guess. Is the point of this smoking early? Is that just for the movement speed? Just for the Could warding. Get you in position or? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's movement. Move. It's the movement speed. It grants you 15% movement speed. And I mean, you're hidden, but who the fuck cares? It's night. <laughs> you want to you wanna get your, yeah. your wards off in a good spot. The, the problem is, like, look how late they actually did it, though. And, you know, you're doing this to provide that movement speed advantage to get out early to get those vision in places that you wouldn't be able to get it if you were just walking. Okay, we have a ward yeah. here, we have a ward here. Do they have sentry? Yes. I guess he doesn't know. He's blocking the big camp. Okay. So who's mid on Dia? Let's see. Is it. Oh, okay, it's Nyx. Nyx, Nyx, Nyx. Luna safe with. Timber 5? Interesting. Yep. And 3 on Rave King and 4 on AA. The battle begins. Is there a big rune fight? No, they'll just leave it alone bottom. Nope. Slap each other top. I guess the Timur's, Timur's job is just to... Is he against... I thought he's against two strength heroes with fucking Whirling Death. And he has uh, reactive, so you can even run at them and tank a bit and just... And he has two mangoes. I like this. I like this. Hard, I don't, I don't think smart. he could have asked for a better matchup. Yeah. It's, it's two melee strength heroes. Yeah. They should try to hit both and just... Yeah, hit them, hit them. So they, if they... Uh, they should hit them more so they don't reach in too much once the buff runs out. Otherwise you just... Whirling death them for nothing. I think we're going to see a very aggressive lane bottom here as they have a dual sort of stun on each of the supports being able to sort of counterplay each other. Whoever gives any sort of aggression gets immediately stunned up and then the other one comes out and 
Yeah, but in the long run, I think Radiant is gonna win the bot lane just just because of Tidebringer and uh, Counter Helix. Even if he has and for Atrophy to really matter, it takes you some levels. Level one and two is not enough to make you win the lane. It's enough to help you last hit, it's not enough to secure Level 1 is complete shit, you see 4 damage, who cares about fucking 4 it's, damage? It's, it's the necessary to get to level 2 though. <laughs> I mean he has still lifesteal and Gravekeeper skill, but this... This Gravekeeper is really reliant on levels. And before he's getting his levels, he's... Gonna get out of rest by the X. That's what I wanted to say. And if we look at mid lane, the Kunka is like like I said before, he's a really skilled player. He's really good. Sometimes he just carries. I play a lot in the, in the last in the past few months. I didn't play a lot with him, but before we played a lot with him, and he's really really skilled. It's like well, it's already been self-evident here. He's he's twelve and two in the last hits versus the Nyx, who's. I mean, he's a. Else. Kunkka model against the Nyx, so yeah, he should win the lane. But they both have great spamming abilities for this to win this, right? Kunkka's got the two levels into the Liquid Fire. The really and he has stuff. Firestorm on Nyx, so and he he's should... got Firestorm, right? So he, he should, should be able to harass, right? And Action you can really... Oh. Have fun. Rob getting a kill! Haro got robbed. Uh... He needs a bottle, he needs... I hope he has a bottle on the... Yeah, okay. Nyx has a bottle on the courier so he can make some, some ground here. But yeah, he... he really needs a bottle and then he'll be fine, right? Because I totally Firestorm disagree with his starting items. He just should have went for a Quelling Blades and a set of Tangos and then just rush bottle. Spam fucking Firestorm non-stop and get maybe a Soul Ring even. Because yeah. all you want is just out... Spam Firestorm every fucking wave. And try to get the the range group. Just... The shards. Mm. It's really easy to deny the range creep when you just firestorm the whole creep wave and that sucks. We we do see that advantage. You continue to spread apart as Kunkas now at like twenty-five last hits versus the twelve. The... Yeah, he's one of the most skilled players, like I said, in the in the tournament. It's... Really going good. To be a hard comeback for this. Thanks. The thing for uh, Kunka is is like he's easy tiltable, so you can easily tilt him. Just have to gank him two times and he's tilted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it matters. It does. It the does. Game is not to be underestimated. Oh, top yeah. there. Ooh. Radiance. Playing some good action around these last couple of trees that still existed there before they grew back. Timber chain in. Yeah, but I think he should play more aggro on the timber and just keep running at them, get more mangoes so he has willing death up whenever he needs it. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Go. This. Whirling, oh, whirling, stick on, on that, the, stick on, on that bit lord! Oh my god! <laughs> Both the Luna and the Fit Warriors will walk away. No. And the Salvo. So let's swap. The other is just I mean, he's only off. 400 gold per hand. It's actually fine for the Nyx. And he can recover faster than the than the Kunkka. The Kunkka even super greedy rushing in Midas. Yeah. This has another Null Talisman coming in. He's getting a Midas? That's surprising. Uh, uh, the Kunkka. Kunk Kunkka. Kunkka. Oh, Gotta queued up anyways. Yeah. And like expected, uh, the bottom lane also raiding is slightly, slightly winning it. Ooh. Okay. Kind of expected that though, based on the Tidebringer. And yeah, Tidebringer is... Right? But the second is this disgusting. axe gets... Gank though, he's in trouble, right? Because if he falls behind, it could be problems. And I think like level five is like the turning point. Once the Rave King gets enough atrophy damage. Ooh, here we go. Bunch of damage. Oh, oh so unlucky so on the pit. Shit. But still enough. 
We'll just run him down and hit him in the face. I still think like level five is the turning point where they can do something on Dia. On the the Kunkka. He's so low. Illusion. The Nyx is just like, oh, where can I throw this? Yeah. Oh, he misses. I'm not sure if the two null talismen are a good choice. I disagree. This is a conversation yeah, I've had with pro players before. Do you go no talisman or do you go um what's the other one? The, the one that pops, soul soul ring. And it comes down to, at least as I've been explained to it, whether you want the pop regen in the rain, which like he hasn't been spamming out the spire storm even if he could. So even if he, he gets should, that right see, now. See what I even was if talking he gets about. It, he's not going to take advantage though. So the range and the range I'm... kryptonite. Like I said, the fucking range kryptonite is so important. Okay, but he can get a kill here. Ah, uh, no, it oh, cannot. Because no, he has come up. fucking re -ink. Okay, okay, okay. So it comes down to. I think the stats at this point is more valuable for him because he's not effectively using the fire storm. Ah, but he wants to using use. Using that the way that you want him to use I it. I want to, him to use it every fucking creep wave. Then instead of that. Just keep the two. Uh, not, uh, the in things, the whatever you call them, plus then just rush the arcane boots. Yeah, pick up the early headdress, get an arcane boots. Then again, you're probably you're not wrong in anything you're saying. It's just I'm trying to think as he's thinking right now. Probably. Yeah, but he's thinking it's wrong. Action top. It's wrong. Sometimes going on. Uh... <laughs> oh, my God. oh, that weird roll! Fucking roll in the tower like an idiot. <laughs> That's my arc. And there it dies. And where are the tips? Tip him. Fucking tip. Oh my God! Damn. Mass tip. All the while, bottom. They are gonna try to kill this AA. They do have to pit on him, and they will find the kill. Bottom. Oh, oh but Rob, Rob got the kill. Rob on got the kill. Yep. That should not have happened. And they do force the Nyx back from mid as well, so the Kunk is going to put a bunch of pressure onto this mid coming right now. That's bad that the whole creep wave back. is, but he can bottle up fast and maybe get even the range creeps XP still. Let's see. Yes, I will we'll see. It's got, you know, with liquid fire, that tower is going to fall really fast. <laughs> You're a trusty mate. That's the problem. Being getting close to put that liquid fire on the tower. You're a trusty mate. He's even maxing it, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm not just, a stu not just stupid. Ignoring miss. dual breath completely and going completely for the. That would be the the Kanka. I would go radiance into scepter. But let's see what he is doing. Decides to finish up the wand. Now he's going really fucking greedy, man. Look at him. He's going fucking Midas. Now he has. He already got his Midas. Oh shit. Yeah. Yep, Midas is ready to go. He's got the Kill Midas. Top. He's got the big boy. Had him called top and then threw the ice blast on him. Finished him up. And they have decent Dyer's farm on, on X. Uh, like Radiant won all three lanes. More or less. Rob yep. is ahead of Harvard. Oh, they're throwing a ton of aggression onto this Kunkka. Is ahead of Nyx and X is ahead of Raid King. So they smoke up two heroes behind mid tower. They show the Nyx mid. Hopefully, um, self confidence here. Guess... Looking to find someone. They reveal. Oh, the oh, other pops, no. so he knows he's there. 20 seconds on re ink. And he got nothing. They get fucking yeah. nothing. Yeah, nothing from that. They're not careful. Reading is going to come down this hill and kill one of them, too. And they run up high ground without any vision. Cocky as fuck. They're, they're very, very confident right now. <laughs> yeah, they're really they're confident. Very confident. It's like, nope. Oh, but they got a courier. Was it worth it? Or are they gonna get smacked? Boom, bitch! The other. And their mid player is killed by a neutral. <laughs> Actually good. Actually good. <laughs> so not worth it. So not worth it. But meanwhile, Kanga all, takes the all mid. All the while, bottom. Yeah. Huge, huge damage going into bottom. And he's going to defend. Midasing the catapult, defending bot like a god. Kunkka popping off. 
Yeah, so what Same do you guys think thing, about though. the hood or the pipe coming out for uh, Wraith King? Doesn't look like he's spreading that uh, his atrophy aura damage at all, which kind of. Why would he go you know, for no, that? No battle man. fury. I'm looking at what's causing magical damage that he's concerned about. Oh, yeah. big yeah. rock place. All the way top there. Well, he's using one. all his. Hey. Mm. The other falls, looking for the Luna. Besides the better of it. And Luna is really on the front for being the main hope for Dyer to carry the game. I'm not sure if that's. Uh, he has to really yeah. maybe go back to jungle. I would just expect her to sit in the jungle for the next what five minutes. Yeah, till minute twenty. She's got 20. the poison mass, so she's got the she's got the life steal to do it. Got a bunch of the agi. She's just gonna sit in the jungle for. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's so far behind. Look at three point seven k against. Yeah. Great king just switched to Sanjin Yasha on the quick buy. I'll I'll agree with that more. Yeah. He does, should not run. should not go full tank. He well, need like, him. What is causing the magical that he's concerned about? Yeah, I think the ice right? blast. Like, yeah. I think the ice blast. Dyer's top tower. I think he's concerned top. about the ice blast mostly, and he's not wrong. I look at. I mean, uh, it's like you're gonna die or not, right? But, but look at Radiant. It's that. mostly magic damage. Only the Kanka Tidebringer is doing some. Some physical. But yeah, I know. The rest... There's a ton of magical damage, which is why I look at it and go, you know, I understand what he's thinking. But then it's like, well, you know, AA, you're dead anyways. Loosen beam, you're dead. So, like, these are guaranteed kind of, I'm going to hit you and you're dead. Oh, no, no, big no, no. engagement here. You look to kill the one. Yep. They could do a ton uh, of damage. But... AA blast too late. And only keeping the fucking Nyx. Nothing else. Yeah, just clips the Nyx. I think that's the job of uh, Tusk. Feet. Feet create space, get vision. As long as my cores are farming, I'm fine with feeding. I'm Ark. That's his logic. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Sure. Go for it. All the while, though, this Kunker is accelerating. You're right, though. He's going for the Radiance. But he, I'm, sure, I'm sure Ark is still mad. He's in. If you join their Discord, he's like raging right now. <laughs> Even if he enjoys the feedings, he's still raging. But objective wise, we have like only taken the mid tower and the top tower, and. Uh, it's really just there. the mid tower that's yeah. the, the unbalanced one here. Maybe the rest of them are mirrored. So they're, this is where the battle is right now, and they both know it. So they're all sort of hanging out here, which... I mean, and really gold-wise, it's only yeah. 3k advantage for Raiden at the moment. And most of that is on the Kunkka. Yeah. Right, so you kill him once or twice, and it's completely gone the other direction. Yeah, and Kunkka is going Radiance into into the Scepter. That's... Again, as you say, very, very greedy. Yeah, well, so, I, I'll, I'll um, agree. I would, do this. I would not have bought the Midas if I would be him, but... I mean, he got he, top, he made it work. He made it work, and now Radiant Scepter, and he's Interesting going smoke to carry and it. Into the oh! Pro punch. It's a split John. fight. His conk is not here. Yeah, but still, Ark Ark likes feeding, so he's feeding for another support. So actually, let's support call it a draw. Support. Maybe Nothing even a win. Now for... we will find another one here, though. Oh, yeah, if they do collapse onto this rough. guy. Come on. Where's the... Come on, Rock. Lockdown. Please die. Yes, there you go. He has timber snowball ready. Away. Oh my There's no God. lockdown. He can just timber chain away. Turning himself into a pig and getting out of it. <laughs> That's my Wow, rock. Nexus has got triple no talisman now. Yep. Oh, initial. Rob has <laughs> meme hammer. Oh my fucking yep. God. The meme hammer is out and ready. He's diving in once again, looking for the timber saw. If not quite enough to kill him. Probably a mistake. Ah, he's, oh my god! The other one will find it. Ah, he misses his chains. But he has re inked and now the they're all gonna get fucked. But Nate? They land a lot what? of damage, but it's not enough to kill this guy. There, finally, kills the AA. 
Ah. In from the side. He has no more re-ink. He has no more re-ink. Both misses. Oh, now they gotta, they they gotta, gotta turn and run. They gotta turn and run. They only have it's shards. Nice. They really need good shards. Like okay. But it was a win for Dyer. Look, 1k plus. XP wise, also a big win. Sick play. We'll see here. If they take the tower, I'd say this is a great end of play otherwise. I mean, it was already a win. It's only like 2k uh, difference now. So. They are turning it. Place where you just sort of go in and poke at each other, don't feel you do with them. And the big meme ammo, boom! Meme ammo did. Triple smoke from Dire, and they're gonna head bottom. Now, searching for the jungle, but they aren't gonna get anything. <laughs> there is nobody! They might catch there All is of the nobody. heroes smoke up mid, radiant, and they're going in search of hunting now. But... This is the problem. Where do you go hunting? Yeah. <laughs> what are they hunting, they're hunting for? for they're, they're hunting for you. You're hunting for them. Who's going to run into each other first? Mm. Oh! Like the they they get the Rave Do they get the Rave King? Oh. No. Both smokes are finished up uh, here. But it's just. From behind. Die has gone from behind. Oh, now the scan comes out. They see and it. now we see a big, no big team fight. Big team fighting yeah. coming. No, they're gonna disengage. They have to. They're so <laughs> off kilter here. Get onto the high ground. Get some repositioning advantage. That was just yep. so sloppy on everyone's part. <laughs> Gunka sees. Okay, I have radiance. I have green in four seconds. I'm the one who's baiting them, and he's baiting. But he's actually going eternal shroud on on Kanka before he gets uh, Septo. I thought he would just go Scepter and some Why other is he picking shit? up the Shroud here? What is that going to do for him? I don't uh, understand I that item well enough here. Um, the spell lifesteal? From Radiance alone? If like Just I've... from the Radiance alone? Is that just the combo that everyone does? I mean, yeah. I don't see it often. I mean, it's, uh, don't un it's really strong. It's like 20% spell uh, lifesteal. If I recall. Again, like right now, if that's active, he's back to full health, right? Dual breath, radiance, boom, done, he's back, right? And, so I can't, and Daya uh, also... Ooh. 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 Oh, we got him. No, nope, oh, not enough. There. And most of the damage on, on Daya's side is also magical at the moment. So, he's not wrong picking up an Eternal Shroud, but I think first the Scepter would enable his team more. Because they're never gonna lose a team fight after he has a set the bots. Are they gonna finally point. gonna get the mid tower? They do! They get the mid tower and they pop the old. And they escape! Away. And they escape old sick play. Are they called in base? So wherever they TP to? Nope, they went top. Went top. Yep. I mean, Rave King. <laughs> Rave King is still the strongest carry on the map and after. In the re in really, really late game, he's like super strong on Wraith King. He has a PKP, a few more damage items, some mobility. He should be able to out carry uh, Radiance, but let's see yeah, if really he gets to that. I'm worried about this Luna here. That's the potential carry. She's just nowhere near where she needs to be. Ah, but she's she's picked. Radiance top tower is under attack. I mean, she she picked up uh, some good farm in the oh. last uh, ten minutes. So spent five of that in the jungle farming. <laughs> when we are looking at the Luna ten minutes ago, she was like three k behind the Kunka, and now she's only two k behind. Yeah, the Kunka, just climbing so. up. It's just what she needed to do, though. Yeah, exactly. Here in and farm, not go to these fights. X runner decides to show up. It's a super late game. I'm not sure if Radiant is gonna win that. But Tusk is hunting the Luna <laughs> really hard here. He's a suicide. He's gonna suicide in. <laughs> he's growing on both the battle hunger and he's got some Urden charges served up. So the thing I would is, is like. I'm not surprised if they smoke after they take this tower. 
the thing is, will they get PKPs on Dire? And will they play smart enough to win the late game? Because I think they have the stronger late game if you look at the, the builds. Dire totally has the potential to win the late game. And well, I we saw how effective the Axe BKB there was, right? So. <laughs> yeah. Just charge right in. Yeah, so they immediately take that tower, they pop the smoke, they're looking for more. They found it in the form of AA. Yeah, but he's not he's too strong. He's immediately gonna on die. Legs. Oops. Done. And he's gone. <laughs> I still think that Dyer has the battle late game, just with the Luna and the, the Rave King. Rave King just oh, gonna... still hunting for more and they found the Luna. Oh. Oh no. Oh dead. no. No! Oh, yeah, no! Oh, he's fighting back! Oh, wow. oh my god, sick fight! Oh, fighting no, back an like. Incredible amount of damage. Two more are walking in here, but the axe is coming in behind as well. Oh. Another round of TVs coming in from the shrine. Tried to speed around the double kill there. Oh no, but Nick's gonna die. And maybe even the AA. Oh yeah, he is dead. Oh. Kaboom! Throw down. Thanks for playing Dota 2. The torrent and, and he's dead. And they're gonna instantly go for an objective on Radiant for Roche. Wow. Yes, it's a eternal shroud completed on on Kanka, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna go set the next just for the torrent storm. And for oh, this was a huge fight. Multiple misplays there and Dire let them open up this to just turn that around very, very quickly. And now they can take a great objective from it and probably push off of this even harder. God damn it. Now they have two people who are Im immortal. X and Kanku. Both have two lives. And they're both running in, like, Frontline to the axe popping his VKB and just running in hard now. And then Kunka is going for the most greedy build he can think of, going boots of travel into center. Wow. What do we have on Luna? I mean, I like uh, Manta style, but not in this game, to be honest. I think Manta style on Luna is a mistake. Okay, getting PKP first. Okay, okay. Luna's getting PKP first, at least that. That's that's probably much better than yes. Yeah, and so I don't think that uh, I don't think the scepter is very efficient this game, just because of uh, PKB is finished on the Luna there. Yeah. I think the Manta is a is just they clear the illusion so fast on you're not gonna have any impact. I think she, I think she is thinking like late game. I need those illusions to push up in and get yeah, but stuff yeah, I can just use it for oh big fight mid. Oh, that's a huge oh. boat. Oh, yeah, Luna! Finally oh, pops his Luna BKB fuck. and just run at the Luna, but Luna's popped hers in return. And it's just trying to run out. It's not enough here. As the axe will continue. Oh, the pit catches the axe. The BKB just wears off on the other two. Snowball in. Oh, pounds down the one. Oh, we'll kill the other. But it's still a really, Luna does really, really get rough trade. Rough trade, and they're gonna just continue to wham at this tower until the creeps get here. Man, they have, they have the liquid fire to push faster, slow down the, the tower. So and keep none the of the things that you wanted expended were expended there, right? The punk has still got his reincarnation up. Yep. The ages is still... Yep. Minute down. And that's maybe the first lane of Rex. Oh, it's got a timer now. Cool. He's just gonna fuck that creep with his walrus punch. <laughs> <laughs> they could be able to do anything so, here. They're not. What does this Luna get if you don't like the the Manta play? Though? Uh, raw damage. Like, I still raw think that's fucking the, damage. Maybe I'm not I sure. I still think that's the late game play for the loon. I mean, a scepter and the data That's that's what I would get, because I'm a greedy bitch. But <laughs> I'm a Daedalus fan myself. 
Because Moonglaive's crit too, so... And the Scepter enables you to have some, some range, 240. Plus, so she has like... Uh, 480, 810 range. It's not bad. Permanently 8200 range. Hit back and lay into people from a distance makes yeah. a huge difference for Luna, right? It makes, it makes a big, a oh, huge... The... And then just for the nope. big glaives, she gonna get a Daedalus. That's that shroud being popped. The Saving Manta is a... Right there. I think the Manta is a waste of money. And she even can spam, if she gets a scepter, she has like 1k mana pool. And the uh, chilling touch is 37 mana. She doesn't need mana for anything else. So she can hit it like for the whole team fight. Just with chilling touch. Well, they pop it's, up it's the here, but it's too little too okay, late. Let's, let's, I, have to, gone out of the jungle. I have to give the Harvard some advice as I write him on. on <laughs> on Steam, please get a get scepter into the list. No mantra. Good, I gave him the advice. So dire smoke, nothing really came of it as they were a little too late, but Radiant smoked up looking for more axe immediately runs. Yeah, and right now you see how they are snowballing out they got they got the Aegis and right from that point woof! Gold, gold graph goes up, 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 up. Yeah, it was all that one fight that turned right before the age of the rush bit there that just set the tempo. We'll see if Kunkka yeah. grabs his DD bottom. And oh, Nyx, yeah. Nyx only has boots of travel, Adolands and the Ghost. It's a plastic, awesome. And a shard, and a shard, I forgot about that. Shard is, is, is pretty good on, on the Knicks. Kunkka's looking for a smash. I'm just watching Kunkka because I want to see a Torrent Storm. <laughs> it's awesome. Especially on Kunkka, it's Other awesome. Other than testing it, I haven't seen it yet. So yeah, it's really like, good. It's really good with the Kunkka. I'm just going to follow Kunkka around waiting for him to do it. With the Kunkka <laughs> talents, it's good. really good. Otherwise, it's, it's still... Decent, but not really that impressive for a Scepter upgrade. But with the talents on Kanka, it's actually good. Do they get the fucking Rob? Come on, please! Kill fucking Rob! Thank God! They got him. Thank oh. God! Soul a ton of damage there. <laughs> Where did Kunkka TP to? Yeah, bottom. I mean, it's like... They're trying uh, to protect this last little bit of tower. It's like those Russian players who are are uh, high in rank. They always play the map really smart. They know like where to push, where they just put pr their players are just putting so much pressure on you on the map because they are just playing it really smart. And as you can see, he's getting farmed as fuck, and at the same time, he's pressuring them on the map. So. Always just seems to be like one step ahead as well, right? Like we saw yeah. the smoke play there. It's like Dyer does the smoke play and misses. Radiant immediately does a smoke play Dyer's and hits. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. They're just good players in Dota in general. Pro probably even better than me. I mean, I'm, it's hard to admit that, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so humbling. <laughs> Oh my god, the axe is just running into people at this point. Just like, come and get me, I dare you. Yeah. He is feeling very, very strong. 3K and for health, good reason. Satanic, BKB. Yep. And, and Shadow Blade so and Elven Tunic. Yeah. Don't underestimate the Elven Tunic. That's 16% of oh, it. Yeah. yeah. And Luna now so has the Italian sword. Still has the fucking. Oh, he got the Kunkka! Manta! The Kunkka. Yeah, but he has Scepter. Ah, uh, he has uh, Ult. Right. Reincarnation up. up. He's got everything. I wouldn't overcommit on the, the fucking Kunkka. Or the yeah, Timber, Dad. Yeah. Go, 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 go to the fucking house. Please! 
Don't waste all your. Uh, yeah. Okay, that. Oh, no, it was a good. It was a good pop of the ult because nobody got really slowed and they didn't get insta fucked from it. <laughs> and they get out. Nope, got a good kill there. Musk. Hey, this is the first match past 30 minutes. Uh, didn't we have the last one? Wasn't it past 30? No. Uh, or maybe not? I'm, I'm not sure. Early. Matches have been very short. And not even getting the last hit. On the creep. Immediately. But Rave King getting his PKP now has an AC and an SNY. No, maybe maybe they can. Bust onto the timber. I still think the Luna needs the Scepter just for them to enable them to hold the high ground. It just makes them so the strong on the high ground. Ready. Ready on the Undying. Like, try to stun me now while I meme hammer you. Is there a Torn <laughs> Storm out? No. Uh, I think they just let the, the Rex fall, right? Oh, man. Ooh, Rage King in, but no BKP! Up. Yep. Oh, fuck. Just getting run down by the axe. Oh, no. Nope. Uh, the AI Blast will actually finish it off. No, no, because no, he, he lives. Good juke. Luna's looking for more. But can they kill? And it's every, everything is so split up. The meanwhile, they get the Rex, but can yeah. they kill the fucking Kanka now? No, nope, because. No. no, he's just gonna run at this point, get back, reset. Axe is back, full health as well. He'll just run at something else. <laughs> got the AC and on Axe now. And they're just backing off. AC is also picked up on the uh, Yes, the cleave out. talent now on Wraith King. Is this the comeback? Is this the comeback? That is so strong with the, uh, <laughs> the other tree bar. Sadly, it's only 25% cleave. <laughs> Indeed. It's no Just the last cleave. Here, really. Meanwhile, Radiant is roaching. Dire knows they're doing this. They seem to go in. Oh, beautiful shards! Wow, perfect shards, perfect placement. He still, he doesn't have mana for a fucking ring, but he can pop his shroud on her. Okay, he's still, he has it. Wizard dead, just living through the spirits. And Luna dying for this. Come on, no, no. Axe gets the ages and we'll just run for it. Luna going for the Crystalis. Oh. Okay. Oh, nice save. Wraith King got the old Underlord ult out of there. Done that a couple of times where it's just perfect. Okay, that's the last hooray for the Dia, I think. There's no way they can stand against Axe who's got the uh, ages. Right, they can kill if him they once, can, it, If they can, if they can't kill him again. Pop satanic and start eating up. And he has to be close if he gets kited. Let's see, let's see. Oh! At least oh, Rob can die? Rob. No! Oh. Nope. Uh, timber, chain. timber chain for the win. They're still hunting though. Yep. Never gonna give it up. Never gonna let it down. Dyer hasn't admitted defeat yet. Farming up what really And look at fucking Rob's play. item build. Meme Hammer, Lotus Orb, Octarine Core yep. into Refresher. If that's not a Rob build, I don't know what, what is. It's got perfect. Real. It's great. It's, you know, Pop Lotus. They can't stun him when he goes to use the Meme Hammer. Oh, there's your Torrent Storm. Oh, beautiful. Zoom mm -hmm. out all the way. Mm -hmm. Just sit there and BKB and do that. Yes. And <laughs> that. Everyone dies. <laughs> wow. And he has a Shiva's on top on Pokemon. It's a great ability. Especially with the uh, AoE talent upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Plus yeah, 80. Yeah, yeah. It didn't even go fully commit on the torrents. Uh, Talents. The other one is that it's not like really worth it though. Over the 30 damage. 
Like that little bit of stun I would duration. Get, I would get it if I would play around it. I would totally get the Flat Ringer talents. But... They are trying to lay into this axe. It is not going to happen. He and it's just BKB TPL. Because fuck you guys. I'm going home. That might, I, I, maybe a stat for the AD uh, Dota page would be kind of interesting would be the, uh, how much talents change the win rate? Like how much does that plus 80 talent really help the torrent? But, I think the win rate with torrent storm is on, on Kunkka is way higher. If you commit on it, that's, that's the thing. Yeah. Makes it so I much stronger. It, it, it's right. not one of those things that we necessarily have to go and add like a new stat for. It's actually sort of one of those weird things where that statistic is actually just buried in the hero bias. Because yeah. it's, you know, all the things like that that really matter are basically tied to the hero abilities anyways. And Yeah, but look at it. He has four, uh, three fucking talents for Torrent. Yep. And that's and the why Torrin... some makes so much more of a difference than others. The Torrent Storm just pops 1 billion, look at it now. Just pops 1 oh, billion oh, oh, oh. torrents around him. <laughs> and he's running away he's with it like a pussy. Away. Like a fucking pussy with reincarnation. Oh say, my god. He's that's got a everything he needs. That's a report. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he can get Timeless Relic now. And be even... More annoying. Okay, got it. So the torrent stuns oh, even. Oh, he took spell prism. What's the cooldown? Oh, yeah, works too. Works too. Works too. Yeah, but the uh, timer's relic with ice blast is also disgusting. And he has a sept, uh, a refresh on a double ice blast. It's really hard now for Dian. Nice A blast on the 30 on seconds there. on the Aegis for Kanka. Really BKB pop, but forward. called? Both BKBs are popped. Oh, no, 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 Immediately no. Immediately switches buy. onto the Luna, Jump which is down. the right target. Well, no buyback on Luna. Yeah. Our backs Dyer's just continuing to run forward to people to the point of their Swift blinking in. Waving oh, them in wow, the face. Wow, Rob is stating the correct fact, absolutely perfect. Underlord's got the gem now. Ash has got a swift blink. I love it. Talk about the beams. Yes, we survived with more than 30 minutes. We did it, boys. <laughs> is it over? That's the true objective, survive more than 30 minutes. Nah, but that It's kind of like running the gauntlet. How big was your shit? He could have. He could have done it. Okay. Good game, man. Yeah, good game. <laughs> yeah, you spoiled it. Yeah, I mean, it was not a spoiler. You see, they have mega creeps. It, it's over. <laughs> it's, it was obviously <laughs> over. Oh no, the rip ears that didn't disable it for the stream. Oh shit, my bad. Rough day, I feel like we got robbed. Totally robbed. I mean, you tried, Haro, you tried. It just upslayed you in the, in the long run. Man, we thought not to get Luna, I can carry us, but yeah. Yeah, but Rob has, that's actually uh, not a bad team. Uh, the, uh, the point is, the Ari just, just, just asking random people to join him. Not his, his real team. There they go. Easy money for him. I guess. And how it should have went for Scepter first and not Daedalus first. Just for the range. 50k ahead. 50? 50. Oh, 50. Chi Chi. Good game. Good game. 
40 minute game. Not bad. You had a chance, Haru. You had a chance. Yeah, not enough. Arc 0 10. That's my arc. That's my arc. Feeding like I crazy. I think it was, it was easy target. Feeding like crazy. Okay. You an arc game if you got a kill, right? Hmm? Say that again? Wouldn't be an arc game if you 